Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, it's a new car reveal day. But before we reveal the new car, come on. Uh, we still got this in here. And it's still in a sad state. So, yep, this car needs to go. I need to get this car done. I've just been collecting parts that I needed. I just been, I want to just do it all at one time. I don't want to be, get stuck. So I've been collecting parts and for the most part I got about 98% of everything. So this car's ready to get back to put together and be gone. It needs to be gone because I got the new car sitting outside. The new car sitting outside, guys. Come on. I can't can't be having that. It's been sitting out there for like a little over a week. And we can't be having that. So but like I said, look, I got I got me a collection of stock parts, stock seats. I got it boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff i got even more stuff inside the house got the old engine new engine gonna work on this today swap over everything gotta do the harness this and that but that's not what you guys are here for you guys are here to see the new car so let's go see the new car because i'm really excited about it i really 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 like this car a lot and um i don't know i hope you guys like it too it's a it's a step up from this car I mean, financially, it was a step up, and just overall, I think it's a better car. So, let's go see. Is that? Is that a Supra? Yes, I did that. Yes, guys. I bought me a Supra. 2020 GR Supra. And, uh,. Absolutely love this car. Something about these cars that when I drove Rob's car, even the first time I drove it, I was like, I was so impressed with the, the way the car just just ran in the stock form. And it was like just a it was just a different feeling car. Something I did not get out of this car and and some of the other cars I drove. So it's just a, it, it, you know what what it is is a true sports car. That's what it is. It's a true real deal sports car, and it has that feeling. I think Toyota and bmw because i'm gonna tell you right now this car is anybody who doesn't know it's the worst kept secret ever but um this car is like you know 99 bmw and i think toyota just did the body and i think they did a little bit of the tuning and the body and the and of the car with the with, you know suspension tuning and all that other stuff but everything else is bmw this car is bmw front to back but it's a great car guys i'm really happy with it right now it's she's 100 stock let he does that fancy 100 stock and uh i don't know what package this is some because some people say it's a premium some people say it's not because the premium supposedly has a heads up this doesn't have a heads up oh look at these are popping out oh i gotta put them back in i gotta put new stuff in them but uh yeah, these are aftermarket, uh, given to me by a good close friend that just got rid of his Supra. You guys might know who it is, but he got something badass coming. But, uh, yeah, and I got parts for that one. Gotta give me a good deal parts. I got a whole bunch of stuff coming from that car. Oh, it worked out good. So, anyways, all right, go back. So, there it is. Hey, I like got my name on it, too. Awesome. So, that, that means it's really mine. Oh. Well, for the most part so but you can see guys i absolutely love the car it's a great car and i'm not that tall so some people say these cars are kind of hard to get in and out of so i'm five seven so it doesn't really affect me too much but. Great car. I love the, the feeling of this car. You do, if you go sport mode, you hit that button and put the sport mode. It opens up the exhaust. And, uh, so, take it here a little bit. I don't want to work too much cold. stock 100% stock guys so 
I really, really like this car a lot, though. Let me go ahead and shut it off. Give you some of the reasons why I decided to Supra. Why well, Supra over the other cars on my list? The other cars on my list were GT350. I had the Mach 1 on there. Um, RS3 was on there. Uh, Audi TTS was on there because the TTRs are, one, they're stupid expensive and they're almost none available. You gotta literally almost do nationwide searches for them. Um, I had a few other cars, a uh, Nissan 350Z, like a newer one, a Nismo. I love the outside of those cars. I just, the dated interior was, was got me. I like modern things. And the interior in those cars feels like you're st stuck in 2008. Um, so, and and the biggest reason I didn't go with another Mustang is I just would have felt like I was buying the same car again. It's like, in, in, you sit inside the Mustang, you sit inside the Mustang. And you'd be like, ah, I'm back in the same car again. Even though it would have been different. A 350 compared to, this, to that car is a million times better. But it just wouldn't have felt the same car. It wouldn't have, it, you know, it would have felt like, well, nah. It just would have felt like the same car. Just, you know, like, at least looks-wise and just feel-wise. You know, like, I, I would sit in a Mustang. Then I'd be like, I'm still sitting inside a Mustang. And I wanted something that, I'm going to spend that kind of money on a car. I wanted something that's going to just make me have that new feeling again the excitement of having a new car again and that car is definitely doing it so i got parts already for the car i just haven't been able to put them on the car because i gotta focus on this car i gotta get this car out of here so that's that's the job for the moment it's memorial day weekend and this car is getting worked on all weekend because i've just been super busy we've been traveling too and i just haven't had the time heck it's taken me a week just to film this video because i just haven't had the time with work but The rear end of this car, the rear end on this car is absolutely gorgeous. It needs a wing though. Got no wing. And, uh, but anyways, let me show you guys another quick more, another walk around. Another walk around. Wheels, I don't know what yet what I'm going to do because I kind of like the stock wheels. I ain't going to lie. I might do a spacer, push them out, and might powder coat them because I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of the shiny. Shiny is not what I do. So, I don't know what color. I don't know. I mean, typical black, but... Or I could do, you know, mix it up, do something else. But, yeah. The, the only thing I the, uh, always caught me with these cars, when, when they first came out, it was a front end. Front end is, is eh. But you put a lip on them, you lower them, they look better. And that's, and that's the plan. I actually have the lip. I just haven't put it on yet. But, it's a great looking car, guys. Look at that. It's, and it's not... It's a, is it a, is it, people say it's a small car. It's not a small car. It's not a big car either. So you sit in the car, you you feel like you're inside the car. It's 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 uh it's not. I wouldn't say claustrophobic because it's it's not that that small. I don't feel like I'm tight in there. But it's not. It's it's definitely smaller inside than this car is. And the Camaro too. The Camaro is actually smaller inside than than the, than the Mustang. But yep. So. 2020 and this car is tunable so it's gonna get tuned these cars make good power with a tune tune down pipe these cars make really good power tune down pipe and a little e so that's the plan guys that is the plan and i'm really excited with the new build i hope you guys are excited with me and stay on i know i know i've, I've i went away from mustangs and i decided to and uh, it was hard it was hard to go away from a mustang but i just feel it's time for a new chapter new chapter and and i'm really excited with this car it, it, just look at it this car's freaking badass and it drives so good so we'll do some more driving stuff we'll do some stock stuff before i actually start modding it and we'll have some fun with this, making content with this car guys so you guys let me know what you think about this car and all the other cars of the channel and javi javi's got the new wheels on the camaro he's making that car good hopefully he tools it goddamn dude you need to tune that car um, we also got something else. Rob, my boy, got something else. We'll reveal real soon. The one who had the Supra had, yeah, had. So it kind of worked out in my favor though. So cause he had parts. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give him too much crap about it because he's my boy, and and, and he's happy. This is something that he's been wanting for a while. So we'll we'll have that soon on the channel too. And uh, and the, the our Camaro is getting tuned. And we had a little hiccup this week with the fuel pump. 
so we had to well not hiccup we just it needs more fuel we had to get a better pump so that's that's on the way so hopefully that car will be back next week but so and we'll have some fun with that car too because that car should be moving pretty well and i need to make a few more videos with some of the other cars the the, the cadillac guys cadillac's moving cadillac dance cadillac that car's moving that car is stupid those cars are so damn impressive and that was another car that was on my list too this the atsv was definitely on my list i just that was another one that you couldn't find if you if i, if I, I didn't want to have to travel you know across halfway across the country to go get a car danny did danny went to texas buy that car i didn't want to do that so there it is guys 2020 gr supra and i hope you guys like it if you do let me know if you don't let me know also and give me a like subscribe comment let me know what you think i'm the new supra and we'll see y'all later bye